you're on TikTok. <laughs> Are you on TikTok? No. No. <laughs> so TikTok. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Nope, I gotta be cool. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So you're on TikTok. You're making content. You're probably spending way too much time scrolling on the For You page. And you've got a problem. Besides spending your life scrolling on TikTok. You wanna add a link into your personal profile on TikTok, but you wanna add more than just one link because you wanna send people to your website, but you also want them to know that you have a YouTube channel and you also wanna put in your affiliate links. You guys get the idea. You need a lot of links. The best solution to this problem is by creating a link tree. And yes, it's exactly like it sounds. Basically with a link tree, you have one main link and you can put that link on your TikTok profile, your Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And when people click on that link, it then opens up a page that has several other links on it and then people can go and click on those links depending on what they're looking for. So basically they're taken to this tree which is your main link and once they click on that there's all these different branches of links that they can go and click on from there. Now your TikTok link tree doesn't actually have to look like a tree. No, well, that I guess would be kind of cool. Anyways, let me show you guys some examples of what link trees look like and then I'm going to show you how to build them three different ways. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This is Red Bull's link tree and they have their logo up here at the top and they have their hashtag and then you guys can see all of these pink or red buttons right here are links to different places so you can go and watch certain things you can go and check out their merch again you can watch more of their videos check out their exclusive trips and so basically you can go to this page and if you're wanting to go and watch the you know rewatch the Red Bull cliff diving in whatever I don't know how to say that. If you wanted to go and watch that, then you could go and click there versus having to scroll through and find what you want. And here, this is another link tree. James Oliver, you can see the background's really bright, so you can pre-order, you can check out some recipes, you can go to the shop, check out terms and conditions, and you can see in this link tree right here, the socials are linked down below. And then this last one right here, welcome to the hive. This one's really bright. It's a little bit hard to see the buttons, but as you guys can see, again, there's a lot of buttons here, so people can click on that main link. It will take them to this page, and then if they wanted to go and get started, I don't even know what that says. Oh, get started networking, they could click on that, and then it will take them to that web page. Now, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to build a link tree three different ways. And yes, I am sitting here on my living room floor. We're just chilling, so come hang out with me, and let's go build a link tree together. Okay, so first I thought I'd start out and show you guys how to build a link tree on Linktree. And yes, there is an actual website called Linktree. You can search it up on your computer. And this is what the website looks like. It looks awesome and it allows you to build link trees. So first, let me help you be aware of the pricing. So if I click over here on pricing, they have two main plans. So they have a free version. You don't have to put your credit card in or anything and you get a lot of features. You can build the link tree that you need. And if you're just starting out, this is great, but also their pro is six US dollars a month, which is hardly anything. And obviously you get access to a lot more features, but I think the most important is you get access to more analytics, which allows you to see the views and clicks. So for $6 a month, that is a pretty great deal. So let me show you guys how to build a link tree in Linktree. So this is kind of what your screen is gonna look like. You have your mobile view over here on the right hand side. And I'm gonna go here to this purple button and click add new link and it's gonna pull it up and I'm gonna name the title of this link. So check out my website. So we have the title there and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this URL and add a link in. And then down here on the bottom, you've got some pro features. So I think this is a pro feature and this one and this one as well. If you click on this little image icon, you can set a thumbnail so you can either upload your own image or choose from over 750 icons. So if I click on that, I like this little alien. It has nothing to do with my website, but let's use this. So I've got that little alien icon in, and then if I go up here and refresh the page, then you can see on the right hand side, my link will show up here in this mobile view telling me what it's going to look like. So there it is. Check out my website. You can see my little alien right there. And this button right here allows you to check your analytics. And obviously you get to see more analytics in your pro account. 
So you can go in here and add as many links as you want. And I love that they show you how it looks on mobile. I don't think this is optimized for desktop, but I don't really think that's a big deal because most of the time people are going to be checking out your link trees on their phone. So make sure it's mobile optimized. You can go up here to appearance to create some themes for your link tree. You can add in your image, which is going to go right here and you can add in a profile title and a bio. You have up to 80 characters, which is really nice. I think that helps people connect to you and your brand. And obviously there are some pro themes that you can see here, but you can also use some of these with just the free version. So I really love this. It will add it in and show me what it looks like. And so that's what my link tree looks like. And that's a pretty much all you guys need to know about building a link tree on link tree. One thing that I do want to note when you guys sign up for link tree, whether you're using the free account or the pro account, they're going to ask you to create a username and that username is what shows up in your link. So my username is my name, Kyla Lou. And so that's what's showing up. So make sure your username is something that you want in the link. So that's really important. Now let's move on to the next one. So the next place I want to show you is ClickFunnels. And that is actually where my link tree is built right now. I already have a ClickFunnels account and I thought, hey, why not? So I built my own link tree within ClickFunnels. So if you have a ClickFunnels account that you're already using, you can go in and build a link tree. So what I did is I just made a page and named it TikTok link tree and it's an opt-in. And so let me show you guys what this TikTok link tree looks like in ClickFunnels. So within ClickFunnels, you can make it desktop optimized, which is kind of nice because I don't think you can do that in the actual link tree program, but this is kind of what it looks like desktop, but I don't care as much for that. So if I go up here to the top and click on mobile, this is what my TikTok link tree looks like. So I added in this image with some arrows and these are all my buttons right here. So let me kind of show you guys how I built this. I'll just show you within here. So up here at the top, I would go add a new section and make it full width. And I'm just mainly working in the mobile settings. So now you can go in here to settings. You can change the background color here so I can make it red and really stand out. And within this section, which is our turquoise blue border, I can click on add a new row and add one column in. And now that that row has been built, I'm going to go add a new element. And so it pulls up all of these elements in here and I can click on button and it adds that button in there. So now if I click on that button, if I go to button text, now I can essentially make the titles for my buttons. So click to sign up for OFA. So that's my affiliate link. If I want to decrease the font size, I can drag this bar here. And now I can change the button color by going in here. So I'll make it white, but see, now you can't see the text. So right here where it says text color, I'm going to go in and make the text black. And if you go over here into advanced, you can actually add some fun things to the button. So you can do style space. I actually kind of want to do a box shadows to help it stand out from the page. So do a hard shadow text shadow. Okay. You can also add an icon here in your buttons too, right here. Again, this is all in the advanced tab. So that's pretty nice. And then what I can do from here is go in and click clone, go into the settings for this cloned button, go up to the top margin and increase that space. So basically you can pick the button style that you like and then clone as many as you want and then go in and change the text for those buttons. So my YouTube channel. So that's kind of what that looks like. And that's how I built mine here. So for this marble background, I just added in an image and to do that, go into settings, background image. You can go ahead and add that in there, which is really nice. You can make it green and I added this like border. So this right here isn't a button. This is just some text. So if you wanted to add in text, like you wanted to add a little bio, you can do that by going, adding a new element and you can add in a paragraph you come up here and type anything you want which is really nice. You can add your bio in there. Any text you want, you can add a video on here. If you want, you have the option to do that within ClickFunnels and then make sure you save. And this is what the mobile version looks like. So you can go in and see what it looks like desktop, but I would build it optimized for mobile. So that's how you build a link tree in ClickFunnels. And the nice thing about ClickFunnels is you can track the people coming in and clicking on your links. So if I go back to this main page and click on stats, I can scroll down and see how many people have clicked on my link tree. So if I scroll down here, it says TikTok link tree right here. And I can see, all right, 46 people. This is uniques. So that means not duplicates. 46 people have visited. And then you can see if anyone has opted in. So that's really nice. You can see the statistics there. 
in ClickFunnels as well. The last place that I'm going to show you where you can build a link tree is in Canva. And Canva, they have a free version that you can use. It's awesome. And obviously you can upgrade to their pro version at any time. But to get started building your link tree in Canva is you're going to go up here to this search bar and click bio link website. And so if you search that, that's going to pull up a template. So I'm going to go down here and click on create a blank bio link template. And these are the right dimensions for your link tree. So you can go ahead and start building it here. I'm going to make this zoomed in just a little bit. So I'm going to go 50%. And the nice thing is, is on the left hand side here, you can see they have a bunch of different templates that you can use and customize for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this template. Let me zoom out so you guys can see it. So this is what the template looks like, which is awesome. So what I can do is I'm actually going to get rid of this image right here. And I want to change the background so I love using like this brick background but I also loved the separation that they had in the template so what I'm gonna do is go into elements and I'm gonna go down here to shapes and click on the square and then I'm just gonna drag it over here pull it to the corners of the template and drag it down I like this color and you can make this color whatever you want by going up here into this color tab and I'm gonna go up to position and click to back. So then that puts that behind all the buttons. So I like that. Obviously this isn't my logo or my name, so I can just go ahead and delete those. Let's go ahead and add in some text. So I can add a heading in here and I'm just going to click away and then drag this up here to the top, double click. So it's highlighted and I'm going to just type in my name or if it's your business's link tree, you can put that in there. And then I'm going to go in and change the font. So these are the, this is the font that I mainly use for my brand. Use that, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. I could also add in a picture here. So let me get rid of this. If I were to drag this down here, what I can do is add in a picture. So I'm going to go into elements and click on frames. So now this allows me to put a picture and it will make it this shape, which is the circle shape. Obviously let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and now I need to go and find a picture for this. So you can either upload a photo that you want to use or you can scroll and find your images in the uploads tab. So I found this picture. I'm going to click on it and drag it up here to the frame. And now my face is a little cut off. So I'm just going to double click on the image and pull it down. So then you can see my face shows up. I have my name. If I wanted to, I could add a bio in underneath. And then I can go and customize these. So let's say I wanted this to say website. I wanted this to be my YouTube channel. I can obviously add as many icons as I wanted and make them customized to what it said in the buttons. I can delete a few things here. I can switch up the order of the buttons. And obviously I would try not have too many buttons on here because that can be pretty overwhelming, but you do as many as you need. It is a link tree and that is the purpose for it. So in order to add your links here onto this link tree is you're going to go over here to your buttons and click on that. Then you're going to go up here to the top and click on this little link icon and add your link in there. So you can link to external websites. You're going to go ahead and click apply. And then when you download this, you're going to go ahead and publish as a website. And the nice thing about Canva is it saves your changes automatically, which I love. And again, you can use the free version to build this. You can customize the background and what it says and make a link tree there in Canva. So there you guys go. Those are three different ways that you can create a link tree for your TikTok profile. And if you guys want to know where to add that link in your TikTok profile, what you're going to do is open up TikTok, click on that little person down in the bottom right hand corner that says me, that's going to open up your personal profile. And once you're there, go ahead and click on the edit profile button and you'll see a little place that says website. And that's where you add your link tree link. And so when people click on that and they go to your bio, that will pull up your link tree, which is awesome. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help support my channel so much and I appreciate it. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for hanging out here with me today. And I hope this helped you build a link tree for your TikTok account or any other places you want to use a link tree in. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video. Bye dudes. I'm a synchronized swimmer. Ooh, ah. <laughs>